What's up guys, Commander Alex here, and today I am bringing you an exclusive for the game Vainglory. So if you guys don't know, we are actually looking Nothing at some gameplay that was children. given to you by Super Evil Megacorp, and uh, it's exclusive gameplay from before the actual release the of this new hero Arden. So basically he's begun. going to be this really cool techie champion who is very into just being a tank as well as being a fighter. So you're going to see a lot of his abilities here. I have the whole page pulled up on my screen of all the different info I have about him from the devs and basically I'm just going to go amateurs. through my first look at him. Now keep in mind this isn't a guide. I'm not going to be giving you guys any tips because this I have not had the chance to play with him. Face. Obviously I don't live in, uh, I believe they have their headquarters in San Francisco, but you know I don't live next to the Super Evil Megacorp headquarters so I can't very well be giving you guys tips without being able to play him yet. Anyway, we're just looking at the gameplay here. We are looking at Ciderhelm, who is playing Arden. He's very, very cool. He's got that red armor with the one arm outside. And uh, if you guys have read the lore, you'll know why that is. It's because uh, he was actually sort of ambushed by some Stormguard people, um, which is what Catherine is, by the way. If you guys didn't know that, I'll have a whole series coming out on our lore in the future. Uh, but yeah, he was ambushed with his wife, who actually ended up dying in the fight. And in the uh, fight, he never got the time to put on his other arm, which has a blaster cannon on it, evidently. So maybe in the future, they could add like some sort of ultimate where he uh, gets his second arms ability and he starts shooting people with like a laser gun or something. Um, definitely just making him. stuff up there, but uh, it'd be really fun. Now, what we do need to know here is that he actually works off of something called Vengeance and not um, just regular energy, which is what all of the other heroes work off of in this game. So. Something good about that is that by auto attacking enemies, you actually gain Enemy vengeance. Hero. So to kind of be able to use an ability, you can just auto attack people and get that energy back. So that's something that's really good about it. Um, and it, it's definitely going to be different playing with someone who isn't quite co quite so constrained by energy. Um, but I'm obviously thinking there's going to be some drawbacks as well because you can't just have someone who has unlimited energy like that. It'd just be OP. The other thing I do have to tell you guys is that none of his abilities in this gameplay are actually set for sure. They may be nerfed or buffed. We don't know exactly where all those numbers are going to drop, so I can't tell you guys if all this damage that you're going to be seeing here is exactly how it will be in the actual release of, uh, of Arden. Moving on though, you're going to see yes, that he has his two yeah. abilities which are Vanguard and Blood for Blood. Vanguard is his first one, Blood for Blood is his second one, and basically what happens is a Vanguard will uh, charge to a nearby ally, briefly, briefly granting them a barrier and move speed while slowing and damaging nearby enemies. And uh, the overdrive for this is basically his second ability, comes uh, which I'll get to children. in a little bit. But just talking about Vengeance, this is going to be really good for uh, getting people out of sticky situations. So if you're playing with a team and you have someone like a Blade who really overextends at times uh, because they have to just to play that character correctly, this is going to be useful for getting them out. He can go in, he can do tons of damage, and then you can come in with this defensive ability to try and keep him alive. I think it's going to work really well, and I'm really psyched to see it for some uh, crazy escapes. Hopefully I'll get some of those epic plays for my channel. Now right here, you're going to see he is playing with Glaive, and that's because Glaive and Pedal are considered the two best people to play with Arden against. Now obviously, this is just what the developers have told me, um, but his ultimate, which is the Gauntlet, and I'll show you guys that in a little bit once the gameplay gets to that point. Um, basically, it puts like a giant shield, and both of these guys' characters work really well with that. One, because Glaive can pump people into the walls of it, and that's going to do a stun, which I'll talk about again a little bit later in the video. But two, because Petal's ultimate can actually um, basically just blow up an area of effect, because uh, their seeds will just blow up whatever is around them. So if they're inside this cage and an enemy is inside, the enemy won't be able to run away from the seeds, and you're going to be uh, assured those hits, which is really, really cool and I think they're going to synergize very well together. Another one I think might synergize well, but I haven't actually been told if it does. Uh, maybe Scarf, just because that's another AoE damage, uh, but it's kind of easy to get away from. So if you can trap someone inside of this and then come along with Scarf and then just AoE the crap out of someone with it, I think it'd be a really interesting thing to see. And maybe we'll even see um, some uh, Kraken seals gone wrong where you can try and steal some, somebody's Kraken by putting the shield around them and then doing damage to them, and once they get too low, they won't be able to escape the Kraken. Uh, again, just sort of hypotheticals here, I'm trying to think out loud for you guys to sort of see where this could go, because I have a play with him, as I said, and I don't actually know how good he's going to be or how he's going to be played, but uh, just looking at his abilities, I can definitely come up with some interesting scenarios. 
Anyway, we're going to move on to his second ability, which you've obviously seen quite a few times. That's Blood for Blood, and that is also his overdrive for his first ability. So if he maxes his first ability um, to, I believe, the max level, then he will actually get the second ability that will come at the same time as his first ability. I know that seems a little odd to say, but basically while he's using his first ability, he will also be using his second ability, uh, but only for the mana cost of his first. Didn't make sense, I'm sorry. I tried to explain it, but it just didn't make sense. Um, anyway, moving on, it means that Arden consumes his vengeance to punch his target, dealing weapon damage based on his maximum health, and the overdrive allows to critical strike, which is something really, really awesome. You don't see a lot of uh, crit damage when it comes to crystal, or in this case, vengeance damage, so uh, it's definitely going to be interesting to see the fact that you can crit, and maybe people will be getting uh, like super crit damage Arden. We'll see what happens there. Uh, but basically what this says is that as he consumes his vengeance, he's going to just be able to do some uh, regular damage to an enemy. It's going to be kind of his ability that he's going to use um, throughout a fight to just no, keep powering down an enemy. And I think it's going to be his main damage dealer when it comes to uh, sort of what he's using here. It reminds me a lot of Scarf's uh, Spitfire, his, ma his main damage dealing and uh, pretty much the only non-defensive thing that he has going for him right now because for the most part all of his abilities are focused on helping his teammates and really controlling team fights. So that's all I have to say about his first two abilities. He is level 5 now in the video so you're going to see him hopefully when he gets to level 6 using that ultimate and uh, let's just go over some of the other things that I have to say about him. One thing, I really really like how they meshed his like cyborg um, with the armor on it, it it doesn't look odd like i know a lot of times uh people have tried to make like super techie things um not just like heroes or, or models for that um but in, in all sorts of games they tried to go super techie and make it look like high tech and it just turned out looking super stupid but in this it, it actually looks high tech which is something uh, i'm very impressed with now right here it looks like playoff beard who is uh a dev is actually playing against starter help as Arden and you see he's going to use his ultimate right here and guess what happens when he runs through that wall he gets stunned that's something really useful and that's one of the reasons why Glade works so well with Arden is because he can use his rocket ability to basically just hit people right into that wall and stun them for quite a while which is really really useful now right here looks like we're going against Taka and um, I'm not sure if Taka is going to be very good against Arden obviously uh, he's going to be very slippery, slippery, but if you can get your ultimate down quick enough, you might be able to trap Taka inside of your ultimate and uh, basically not make him be able to go anywhere with his stealth, which would be very useful. And uh, obviously, they might have to tweak that so that stealth can go through the shield. I, I don't know if that's going to happen, but um, we'll see if it does. I don't know what Arden was doing up top there. It looks like he just popped his ultimate because he could, uh, but they're going to go for the gold mine right here. It looks like they're doing fairly well, and again, he's not really much of a damage dealer. He's, at least the way that he's being built right here, uh, a really, really just tanky character. So you're going to see a lot of times people are going to be trying to build him with a lot of uh, health rather than armor or anything. And the reason is that he has his uh, passive, which is Julia's gift, and that grants him a heal based on the amount of health that he has. So basically what happens is he's going to be walking around comes and his passive is going to be giving children. him some health back, um, obviously on top of his normal, just regular regen. Um, but it's going to be based on how much his base health is missing. So if he has a lot of health to begin with, then he can lose a lot of health, still be fairly alive, and then at the same time be getting a really nice heal. So I think that's part of the reason why people are saying that he's going to be built with a lot of health. Um, but again, I can't confirm any of these builds yet because I haven't been able to play them. But I will be bringing you guys guides, bringing you guys montages, pretty much everything you can think about for Arden the minute that he comes out. I have enough glory saved up right now to buy him, and uh, I'm just ready and raring to go. So hopefully you guys are too. Well, it looks like we're nine minutes into the game here. I do want to show you guys the full gameplay and the reason, uh, just so that I can mention this, the reason that it's not in the normal format that I have, which is the iPad aspect ratio with the side banner, is because it was obviously filmed at Super Evil Megacorp headquarters, and uh, that means that I can't very well uh, teach them how to record my style. I do think it's actually a little bit better than my style, though, so hopefully you guys agree with it. Again, using his ultimate here, it seems to last for quite a bit. I don't know if that scales up um, as time goes on, but if it does, that could mean that you could end up basically just trapping people inside of this kind of, like, 
box of terror for an entire fight, which is really useful because uh, if you're chasing people and they get too low, then you can chase them right into a wall that's going to stun them. I mean, it's, it's great for controlling fights, and I think he's really the only character that uh, we've had in the game so far that's going to be able to just control fights. It's not just going to be able to sort of uh, be like really tanky in fights or be really protective in fights or something like that, but he's actually going to be able to dictate what the enemy can and can't do, and that's something we've never seen before. Now another thing I'd like to learn is if Blaze Rocket ability, or really if any of these uh, abilities that can go through walls in the game, are they going to be able to go through this shield without being stunned and without taking damage? I don't know the answer to this, but I think it's a really important thing to know because Maybe Glaive's going to be the perfect counter to Arden because if you can get through that shield for his ultimate, basically you take away one of his tools in his toolbox. So hopefully we're going to see some uh, some more knowledge about him in the future. And obviously once he goes live, everyone's going to be testing all of these compositions. I know I'm going to be hopping into probably some custom matches and just checking different heroes against him to see how he does. Um, but I think it'd be interesting to see if some of those abilities uh, that can go through walls in the game, like to get to minion camps and stuff like that, if they're going to be able to jump right yes. through the wall without taking any damage, and maybe that's going to be a great escape for them. Anyway, it looks like they're paying to get that gold mine there, or at least to defend it. Glaive and Petal are already down here. Again, as I said, Glaive and Petal are the ones that I were told synergize best with him. Again, I, I really feel like the scarf combo would be just epic because you're going to be doing AoE damage to everyone inside there and you can sit on the outside so they can hit you. So it's like a it's a perfect combo and uh, I think it works kind of the same way as Petal's combo would with him where you just sort of group them all together where they can't get out and then you start uh, pounding away at them with Petal's ultimate. And right here he did get the second level of his ultimate right there that means it's going to last a little bit longer and hopefully i'm not sure if this is true but hopefully that's going to mean that he will actually uh do a little bit more damage if it does that means that uh, you're definitely going to want to uh, basically max that because if you can do tons more damage with this as well as stun them as well as have it last for a whole fight i mean it's it's just game changing and i really don't know how people are going to play against it one thing I would like to see is that lower levels, if people don't read the notes and stuff about him and don't really know too much about him, if they're just playing like super casually, maybe people won't actually know what his shield does. So you could actually get some people maybe just trying to run away, run away from you, and then just running straight into your into your shield. Why I can't talk, guys? Um, but yeah, I I think it's going to be a lot different at lower levels compared to higher levels because a lot of his abilities seem to have some really really strange nuances to them that i wouldn't suspect and that means that a lot of people who don't read all these notes and who don't watch all these videos might be at a little bit of a loss so we'll see if maybe i can pick up some games at lower levels just playing and uh not actually playing against too hard of opponents to see if people might actually fall for some of those tricks like that now one thing I would like to note is that his Vanguard ability seems to be very good for getting out of situations. Uh, it seems like a great escape, so if you can stick in the fight, do a lot of damage, take a lot of damage, while one of your teammates, say Ringo or Petal, is sitting in the background doing damage, and then when you feel like you're not quite there to uh, stick around, you can use your Vanguard to hop right out, and hopefully that's not going to be cancelable. Now right here, he caught out Ringo, or he caught out Taco really well, so I don't know why I always get them confused. Um, but he is going to be able to take him out right there, and obviously he still has tons of health, so um, just looking at how Cider Helm is building him, it looks like he's building a lot of speed as well as a lot of crystal damage, which is something that I've been told is fairly good. Again, I've been told that health is very useful for him, um, but I can't confirm that. I can't really confirm any of these builds. Um, looks like Petal might actually get caught out there. Sorry, I'm turning into like commentary mode rather than just like saying my general thoughts on it. Um, let's see if he can get a kill right here. He's pretty low. I wouldn't actually go in. If I were him, I'd just go back to base. And uh, he is going to stick around. All right. All right, being pretty bossy there, Cider Helm. Let's let's see what he can do. Uh, Taka's up there. Is he going to go for it? Yep, he's going to go in for the vengeance, and Taka's going to get taken out. Cider Helm actually got life back from that, so pretty sweet, as well as uh, obviously getting the life back from Petal's little siege right there. It looks like this could be the ace, guys. This might actually end up being the game for them. We'll see what happens. Can he finish? Can he finish? There you go, Cider Helm getting that kill for the team, getting the ace, and that's probably going to be 
probably going to be the game for them at just under 15 minutes. Obviously, it's going to take them a little bit, uh, a little bit of time to finish this, but I think they can probably push straight into this guy's base at this point. Um, yeah, I, I don't have much more to say. Basically, I. I've given everything I have to say about him. I just really want to get my hands on him, and I really just want to see if he's as good as I think he is. Now, right there, I think that's very smart. What you might be able to do is uh, drop your ultimate right in the entrance to your base. So if your team's getting chased into your base, if most of your turrets are down, you can drop your ultimate and then just run out, and they're going to be trying to get into your base and just running into a shield that's stunning them and doing damage. So um, hopefully we'll see some really nice base saves with that. Like uh, if someone's trying to rush to get your vein, you can drop an ultimate right there so that they can't get close enough to your vein to destroy it and you can stop them before they do it um i don't know it's just there's so many possibilities with something like this where you can just dictate what an enemy does um which has never been seen before in the game so we're gonna get the aftershock right there um looks like yeah he's building a lot of just crystal damage i'm definitely gonna play around with maybe a weapon damage guy i don't know if that's gonna be good or not but obviously you have to pick up all the different builds before you uh decide if they're good or not looks like right here ooh, you got caught out bud but that shield it did manage to save him right there looks like uh is he gonna have enough time to use his ultimate no but he is gonna be able to use his vanguard right there very nice Ooh, taka is coming out of nowhere but Cider Helm is going to be there for his buddy, giving him some health and some speed and some really cool effects. I love those like light beam effects or shields, I don't know, holograms, whatever you want to call them. They just look super cool, so uh, pretty psyched about that. I don't know, you know, Playoff Beard, his game is, is not on point here. I, I'm, I might be calling somebody out, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm just joking, guys. Um, I'm actually planning a lot of stuff with him as far as a uh, new series, so stick around for that. Um, but yeah, it looks like this is going to be the final push right here. Playoff Beard is going to go down, and uh, Cider Helm's going to get some health back from that, and this is going to be the game, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Tell me what you think of this hero. I mean, obviously none of us have like exact facts on him or exact stats, but I'd just love to see what you guys have to say about him, and hopefully it's going to be something good. So I'm going to let you guys go right here. I will talk to you guys later. Hopefully one of the hero comes out to give you guys all those guys. And for everything Vanguard, be sure to keep it tuned right here. I'll talk to you guys later. Commander Alex, out.